Friday Night Football and it's Essendon versus the Bulldogs. Hello, I'm Dennis Cometti. Patchy crowd, but fair to say all the major genders are represented. With me is three-time All-Australian and 13 times Richmond's leading goal kicker, Matthew Richardson. How are you, Dennis? It's fantastic to be here tonight. They're not playing for sheep stations today, but we're expecting a real clash in this practice match. The Western Bulldogs enter the arena. Essendon sprint onto the field, some extremely on edge. Umpire tosses the coin. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. The game is underway. You don't always get what you wish for, you get what you work for. The bounce. Bill Chambers taps it. Roberts gets it on the bounce. He's got the footy in his hands. Takes possession and he's heading for home. Merritt watches as it leaves his boot. A monster of a kick gets home. Talking up six points. Merritt sinking his first goal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce, laser straight. Roughhead punches, squeezes out a handball. Boyd throws it, clear as day. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Booted by Myers. Hands like dinner plates. That drop punt works well for Stewart, takes it well. Johannesson has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. He's got a handball away, the ball goes nowhere. He picked it up off the ground, he gets a fist to it. McLean gathers the ball, Myers is bumped off the ball. The mark will be paid. Stringer searches for the man downfield. Good mark by Roberts. Roberts sends one up towards the wing. Bontempelli wins the marking contest. Kicks hurriedly. A nice running mark. Chips it down towards half forward. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Chips it down towards half forward. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Fantasia in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. He'll need a long range boomer from here. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. 35 meters out. Stewart with a kick at goal. The goal for Fessenden. That's two in a row for the Bombers. Two goals up for the Bombers. Stewart is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. Ruffhead gets the tap. Guided down nicely by Boyd. Guided by Bontempelli. Dale, not faced by the pressure, gets his kick away. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punt. Got out the better man there. Kicks it across the ground. Marked by Heppel. The Bombers could just been so dominant in the marking contest and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. He kicks the ball. Roberts with the mark. Sending it on its way. Ruffhead wins the marking contest. Sends it on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Gets the ball on the boot. I guess it was worth a go. An easy interception for Gleason. Intercept by Bagley. Good mark by Merritt. A rush hit. Takes that one strongly. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening term. The scores Essendon 12 to Western Bulldogs 0. The Western Bulldogs need to think about making some changes before the game is lost. They should think about moving some forwards up to the stoppages, around the ground to congest the area and prevent the dominance we're seeing at the moment.
Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Kicking is one of the most essential skills in football, and the Bombers could put 16 on the board, which should place them in a good position at this stage of the game, if they can keep that up. The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard, with the Bombers on four and the Western Bulldogs on three. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. And we're back for the second turn. Never give up, never give in. And when the upper hand is yours, you may have the ability to win with the dignity that you absorbed the loss. Hippel bumped. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Kicks. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could feel difficult for him. He gets above the crowd. Biggs can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. That's a great grab. Bontempelli puts his boot on it. McRae with a strong mark. Sending it on its way. A good contested mark there. Launched long by Boyd. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 25 metres up. Redpath shoots it. Took up a goal for the Western Bulldogs. The Bulldogs kick their first. Both Ruckman had their eyes on the ball. The bounce, laser straight. Guided by Roughhead. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. Nice mark under pressure. Goes up the line. Liberatore looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Liberatore takes a lot of marks during a game, but a lot of them seem to be juggled. If he can just get cleaner hands on the ball, it's just going to give his opponents less chance to spoil in the contest. They want to see this one even it up. Pinpoint accuracy from Dallas. He sinks his first goal. That's two in a row for Kabuga. You get the feeling something big is brewing. Ruffhead decisively guided by Boyd. Hunter tries his luck along the ground. McLean was taken hard. McLean lines it up. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Going for goal number one. You wouldn't believe it. It shaved the goal post. Point the difference. Hurley's shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Sending it on its way. He grabs it. Saad puts his boot on it. Bagley takes the uncontested mark. Sending it on its way. Parrish takes the mark uncontested. Sending it on its way. Merritt with a strong mark. Chip kick along the way. Nice work from Stringer. Sends it on its way. That kick was asking a bit much of Fantasia. It's a good throw in. But it's decisively. McCraig gets the ball. A great effort. You've seen a half now, Richard. Your thoughts? A good first half from the Bulldogs. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Plenty of positives for the coaching staff at the half. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. Essendon put behind on the scoreboard, but the stats are in their favour. They need to turn some of that magic into goals. Thanks, Richo. Well, that's the first half of the match. Come back in a few minutes and we'll have plenty more footy to play. Well, the players have had a good rest and they look refreshed, ready for the third term. The best athletes in the world are those willing to push harder than anyone else and go through more pain than anyone else too. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. He's a ball magnet. Jams it on the boot. He wins the contest. Goddard boots it. I guess it was worth a go. He soccers it. Kicks hurriedly. Booted by Boyd. Moves it quickly by hand. Bill Chambers with his head down, running for home. Hands like dinner plates. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. 35 metres out. Fantasia going for number one. 
Fantasia scores with a beautiful kick. The bombers for in front. Fantasia has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The ball has been bounced. Roughhead taps it. Hooker controls. Smith lays a hard tackle and forces the ball to spill out. Liberatore looking to make them pay for that turnover. Goddard just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. Boyd with no time to delay with that kick. Choose to kick it. McGrath marks. McGrath is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Sending it on its way. He grabs it. Kicks it. Great mark. He kicks quickly. Great mark under pressure. Bumps the pig skin. A good mark under the circumstances. Taken by Liberatore. Jams it on the boot. Nice hands. Dale can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. Dalhouse with the tap. Gleason picks up the loose ball. Hook out by hand. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Sending it on its way. Stewart having no trouble taking that one. Gets put to high. Oh, smart interception. Sometimes words just aren't enough. That's two in a row for the Bombers. The Bombers with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading the Western Bulldogs 24 to 13. Roughhead decisively. Bill Chambers tackles. Guided by Roughhead. A short handball. Danaher kicks. Nice work from Fantasia. Fantasia. The Bombers leave at the end of the third term by 11. If the Bombers can maintain their structures and continue playing on their terms, then this game is a foregone conclusion. So it's just about the last roll of the dice if the Western Bulldogs contend to make any inroads to this deficit. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with the Bombers on 27 and the Bulldogs on 23. Thanks, Richo. After the break, the players should be eager to get started and finish the game with a win for their side. Even when you played the game of your life, it's the feeling of teamwork that you'll remember. You'll forget the marks, the tackles and the goals, but you'll never forget your teammates. Gets boot to high. Stewart wins the marking contest. A long way out. Stewart feeds it wide. Collier presents and takes the mark. 45 metres out. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. A pretty safe bet from this position. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Fantastic goal by Fantasia. Three goals so far. Well done. Fantasia got a really good footballing game. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Ruffhead gets onto the ball. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Choose to kick it. Out of bounds near the 50. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. Umpire throws the ball in. One down by Roughhead. I think he just wants attention. Quick hands find the running player. Big leap. McLean controls it. They've conceded possession. Passed by Bill Chambers. Now oh, that's just giving the ball away. Liberatore heads in for the goals. Able to grab it on the half volley. Scoops up the bouncing ball. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Not a pretty drop puff, but it gets away okay. Spears a low ball. And the mark will be paid. Ruffhead with no time to delay with that kick. A rushed kick. A short handball. Deft touch from Heffel. Bontempelli with the football. Unfortunately, placed ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Bontempelli boots it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. McRae has no problems mopping up the loose ball. Mistakes are rare for him. McLean with the kick. He takes a strong mark. Parrish covers some ground with that kick. He takes a strong mark. 
Zaharakis kicks it. Stringer with a strong mark. Picks it. Nice mark under pressure. Parrish soccer's it. The loose ball scooped up. The ball spills to Bontempelli. The final siren is not far away. Taken by Liberatore. Bumps the big skin. Good mark by Hunter. Slams it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. Chip kick along the way. They say hard work never killed anybody, but clearly the Bulldogs are not willing to take that chance. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between Essendon and the Western Bulldogs? You have to take some positives out of the loss, but they're going to get judged by the media because it was just such a big game. You don't want to make a habit out of excessing losses like that. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. Final scores are 30 to 13. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.